Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Paradox of the Powerful by Southern Tier Brewing Company is the one for you. back everybody so today we are gonna try paradox of the powerful this is a double india pale ale uh, with citra and simcoe hop dust um, and whole flower mosaic hops episode six of six i think i've had like one three and six or something like that uh 8.5 percent abv awesome can art it is from a science is the art collection i'm not quite sure what that is but obviously it's art with science behind it cool girl uh she has uh greenish uh flames coming out of her eyes she has hops like coming out of her ears i'm guessing so yeah cool cool can like i said 8.5 percent abv uh, 30 IBUs is what's listed on Untap. Now, I would say this is a double New England IPA. Being 30 IBUs, that is low enough to be a New England double IPA. Uh, but they're saying double pale India Pale Ale and Untapped is saying Imperial slash double IPA. Um, good luck reading the can on date. Not going to happen. There's something there. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery, $3.99. Now for a double IPA at 8.5%, I would say $4 is a good price as long as it's good. Let's go ahead and open it and get it into a glass. Not looking like a India or a New England IPA. Ooh, big smell. Um, we do have a off-white tannish head, small and medium bubbles in there. From that pour, a little over a two-finger um, head on there. Small and medium bubbles are in the head on the side. Color is a yellow color, uh, protein and yeast floating in there, particles. Um, I can see the light, but it's just not clear, clear. Um, I would say it is unfiltered. Some bubbles coming up, not very many. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Big juiciness, tropical fruits, your mango, your pineapple is what I'm getting the most of. Some citrus and a tiny bit of pine. I would say a generic citrus, but that juicy, fruity smell is what sticks out the most in this beer. Let's go ahead and get a taste. A little bit of juice up front, more uh, some floral is what I'm getting. A malty sweetness uh, is in the middle, going back into a little bit of bitterness. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, not expecting that. Really, that malty sweetness in the middle takes over most of it. Um, there is some bitterness that you do get out of the back end. But yeah, little juicy fruit up front, maybe a tiny bit of citrus, big malty sweetness in the middle, followed by some bitterness. Aftertaste is a citrus sweet, excuse me, um, Taste. Very smooth though. 
I'm not sure what hop dust is. Never heard of that before. But to me, for 30 IBUs, this beer has more bitterness than 30 IBUs to me. Anyway. I'm not getting the floral like I was in the first taste, so I don't know if my taste buds just had to warm up to it. But yeah, there's like a fruity citrus going back into a sweet malt bitterness. Easy drinking though. It is uh, pushing medium, not quite there. Uh, it is a little thicker, but very smooth beer. Not a bad beer. I would probably have to go with a four out of five. Obviously going into it, like I said, I thought it was going to be a double New England IPA with it only having 30 IBUs. Maybe that hop dust has something to do with uh, the IBUs. It doesn't produce. You just get the flavors. Um, obviously they are using the malt to drive up the ABV in a double IPA and that's why you're getting the malt sweetness. Most of the time I get that up front, not in the middle, but I do get it in the middle of this and it tastes to me like it's more like 50, 60 IBUs than 30. Again though, it is untapped. Somebody could have put that in there. They could have mistyped it in there. So maybe it is more. But yeah, easy drinking beer, $4, it's probably okay. I would probably like to see this around $3.50, maybe a little lower to buy it again and drink it because it's not, the flavors aren't, you know, blow you in your face, blow your head off. They're just nice and subtle. You can pick them out and I think it's because of that sweet malt in the middle. Uh, so you can get that up front, then you can get that bitterness. Let's go ahead and check on tapped. Three of my friends have rated this average four out of five. Almost 4,000 people have rated this average 3.95 out of five. Um, Mike does say solid DIPA, uh, um, Citra and Simcoe highlighted. It, I, I think it's overdone with the malt. Now, I'm not a big malt fan, so maybe that is destroying me a little bit. Um, I could see the Citra. I'm not sure about the Simcoe in this one. I was hoping they would say more, but they don't. But yeah, uh, pretty good beer, even for four bucks. I If you're into double IPAs and you are into craft beers, probably one I would pick up. Um, let me know in the comments below though, what one was your favorite out of this episode? Uh, like I said, I think I had one, three, and now six, or one, two, and six, or one, five, and six, something like that. But let me know what your favorite one was out of this episode. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, Happy Brewing.